that up again? Oh, oh god, I don't know why I'm looking around. Sorry, everyone. We're back for more. Let's see what Goosey was reflecting on. Oh, that's way back there. On a day like any other, Goosey was contemplating how to avoid sticking out. He never thought about anything else, at least until he heard these words of wisdom. Thank you. I just replenished my water supply, and it's nice and cold because it came straight from the fridge. I might need to change the water filter soon, though. Like, it doesn't taste bad, but I'm like, hmm, it's starting to taste like not as good as it could. Welcome! If you're looking for the freshest fruit and veggies in town, you've come to the right place. Ah! What's the matter, Goosey? What's there to sigh about on a beautiful day like this? No matter where I go, I seem to stick out like a sore thumb. How can I stop doing that? That's what you're worried about. Goosey, you're daft. Here's my advice. Stop hiding and stick out completely. That way you'll never have to worry about which part of you is sticking out. I think you could phrase that better, but that's okay. Never have to worry? So you mean stand out in the open? All of me? Exactly. That way you won't stick out at all. It's called hiding in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight? I've never thought of it that way. If you weren't so worried about hiding, you'd have more fun, too. Just relax and let it all hang out. Miss Marilyn, I, uh, that is, uh, thank you. I've been so worried about sticking out, I didn't realize I could just stop hiding. Now my eyes have been opened. From now on, I'll be hiding in plain sight. Feeling better, then? I suppose I could accept a fee for my services. You, you, you want money? Well, you know, penny for my thoughts and all that. Yeah, so it's not me you want in plain sight, it's my wallet! Yeah, well, sorry, Goosey. I think she probably likes Crow a lot more. <sighs> These ones I didn't watch because I had, um... Or because that was when the game crashed, like, multiple times, and I watched them already, and I was just like, I was so tired by the end, I was like, I don't want to deal with that anymore. Crane! Oh, no! It's... No, it's a puzzle! Um, Mr. Layton, what do we do? There are crates blocking the way. Oh, I have to do this puzzle. Hmm, that is quite a problem, indeed. We can't progress without clearing the obstruction. That's what my... Sorry, I was trying... I was like, why do they call a doctor that does butt stuff? But I think that that's not... I don't think that's a doctor-specific thing. <laughs> I was like, colonologist? I don't think that's... I think it's just general stuff. Anyway... Uh, uh, it looks so heavy, I can't see how. There's a crane. Professor, we can use that crane to shift them. Basically, I tried to make a joke, but it was terrible, so and it didn't work. I think you might have it, Emmy. Let's give it a go. All right, it's crane game time. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a shifty. It's shifty. Oh, it's shifty. A G yeah, probably. This freight crane can lift and move either one or two crates at a time. By moving freight only four times, can you get every crate onto its corresponding symbol? You can align the crate so it picks up two crates when you touch. Whoa, that moves like ultra fast. Was clever. I don't know what's that. Yep, yeah, okay, restart. Oh boy. Sorry. 
work. Good start. Okay, I only get four moves. Maybe we should start with this instead. Tetris! Da -da -da! Some puzzles must be met directly. Yeah. Ha! No puzzle is without an answer. That's right. Announcement that they're having a baby girl. Nice! Congratulations! That's right. Now every crate on its corresponding is on its corresponding symbol and also off the assembly line. There, now we can proceed onwards. Yay! Oh no, hidden puzzle? Oh no! Reflective iron. Is that, what is that? I... Where's handprint plaster can? Aw, oh, nice. I think my sister, or my mom uh, had that, one of those for my sister. I don't know if she had one for me. We all kind of got random different things. Huh? Who are you, Lot? How did you get in here? Did... Why do I care anyway? I'm just an old fool forced against my will into making strange contraptions by a gang of crooks. What sort of strange contraptions? Ah, uh, machines that shoot great plumes of steam into the air, machines that crawl on many legs. Ah, that, you didn't, uh, you didn't hear a word of that, all right. I'm sworn to keep my mouth shut. Don't tell a soul about these machines, you see. At least, I, I didn't let slip about how these hoodlums are causing havoc around town with their secret plan. <clears throat> um, but didn't you just tell me? Have I gone and done it again? Uh, fiddlesticks! You've got me in a right pickle now. How about you try and solve this puzzle, eh? You're not getting any more out of me until then. <laughs> Too bad for you. Puzzles are my... the thing that I do the most. There are six loose parts of a steam engine here. See if you can fit them together to complete the engine. You need to use all the parts to succeed. Here's a tip. Don't be too flat with your thinking. Um. What? <laughs> oh, ex what? Don't be too flat with your thinking? Oh, okay, well, oh geez. So we have to think in a 3D space, I guess. Those should chomp together. Um, oh! That definitely goes in there. The little duty bopper. That fits in there. Oh! Never mind, I was like, that goes in there. That doesn't. That, this though, that goes in there. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, double boxy. Time to apply some creative thinking. Ha ha! Correct. I love the thrill of a good solution. I do too. Correct, the tricky part is building the base. Once you do that, it's clear where the last two pieces have to go. It doesn't even matter which way you rotate them. Oh. That engine looks awfully old and worn, though. What could it possibly power? Got me. Puzzle 134. Engine parts is now in your puzzle index. Well, if you can repair my precious steam car, maybe you aren't such a bad bunch after all. You see, I used to be the gaffer of this place. Everyone looked up to me back in the day. It was, it was my understanding that the factory ceased operations and shut down. Why are you still here? I'm not entitled to say chum. They threatened me and told me not to say a word to anyone. You really want some ramen? You should have got, you You guys do sell ramen there, right? Or do you mean like legit ramen, Ellie? Under no circumstances should I say that this place is being used to make steam machines, they said. They can do that here? No, oh, no, not again. I just can't keep my mouth shut, can I? Glad I avoided saying that we're making plenty of other devices too. Hey, are you actually trying to tell us all this? 
No, not at all. From now on, my lips are sealed. Now go away and leave me in peace. I'll never tell you that pushing the red button and blue buttons on the pressing machine operates it. Nor will I ever hint that when it's running, the conveyor belt stops and the way forward opens. Uh, understood. We'll have to see what's up ahead for ourselves. Not the quick nudes. Well, I mean, you know what, Ali? Sometimes I have to settle for quick nudes. And even though I cry, because the real nudes are very good, we don't live in a place where you can just go to the street corner and be like, fucking fantastic ramen. Do you guys have like a ramen joint around there? I mean, I obviously we've already talked about it. Um, your food choices are not, there's not a lot, but you know. Yeah, it's just don't involve me. I'm not telling you a single word. Okay. That's the red button. I suppose a pair of lyrium breasts tattooed onto my chest would make things better. Hi, Beth. Whoa. The conveyor belt stopped. We can go in now. Thanks, old man. An old steam-powered automobile. A very elegant model indeed. Yes, you would like some ramen too. I, you know, now I, God, I have mashed potatoes, but now I kind of want to make packet ramen as weird as that sounds. Um, but I also, I like having like ramen, like and a sandwich. There's just something about a soup and sandwich that's really good. Ramen in Sweden sucks. The taste is wrong. Just like how you don't have pepperoni on pizza. Well, you do, but it's not like normal, I guess. I don't know. It does. It's very mysterious. Okay. No. Sorry. Wait. Okay. I want that to do this. I don't care. I'm looking for coins. Good morning, Beth. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, you could always make your own. Do they at least sell like the, the noodles? It's so small, it doesn't have a roof. Call this a car? Wow, that's judgmental. Don't even think about touching the red hot iron. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. My brain is sweet and it's like finding a unicorn. I know, it's... So you're gonna hide in this chat until those people, oh. Oh, really? What happened? Like. It, are, are you in like, cause I know I'm in, in, in like messenger groups and stuff like that. Funnily enough, they were talking about sugar daddies earlier. I think they were talking about Animal Crossing though, not, not actual sugar. Well, I mean, I guess more like a turnip daddy, which is weird. Just not really something to wake up to. Oh, okay, okay. It's fine. The only thing we're talking about right here is puzzles and pepperoni and ramen. I was going to possibly sell my couch today, but apparently the person who was supposed to show up just never messaged back. So either that or they're like just very late. Puzzles and delicious food. Yes, this this is the way. Search the warehouses. Although after reading things yesterday, now I want cake. I don't have cake. I always buy cake. But... Oh, I'm missing a light. Oh wait, never mind. I'm not. <laughs> That's the fifth one. I'm so good at puzzles. Uh, now, how do we open that? Is that? Oh, it's just gears. Um. Oh, puzzle. Oh, professor, there's quite a deep gap in the floor here. I don't think we can jump over it. Is there any way to bring down the metal platform hanging up there? It seems to be held up by four support rods. What if we destroyed those? The platform would fall. They look pretty sturdy. Even my straight kick couldn't go through one of those. Cake or fruit? Oh. I don't know. I mean, fruit pie also sounds good, but the implications of that fruit pie are terrifying. Maybe both. And food makes you hungry? Good combo to wake up to? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was thinking about ordering food, but I gotta remember that I, I have food. Wow, fucking... You know what? Ellie, I looked up Baldur's Gate 3 once for you and looked at a thing on Reddit, and now Reddit is... <laughs> what is that? Okay, just, just, a, just a second. Now it's showing me this video. Where it's like, all right, let's continue. And then, I don't know. It, I don't know what's wrong with their neck. It just... 
uh, maybe they have some whiplash, but their neck is just... Has your neck ever just broken while you were playing Baldur's Gate 3? Yeah, now I'm getting Reddit, like, notifications about it. Sounds like hate for some... Yeah. Well, I've learned that apparently you don't like apple pie, which makes me sad. Peach pie is very good. And also, like, blueberry pie? Yeah, I don't know. I just... I think I just like apple pie so much because I've eaten it so much and I just enjoy it. But peach pie is, you know what? Peach cobbler and peach pie is probably superior to apple pie. In all honesty. Yeah, Emmy, try using these. Bombs? Are they bombs? Did Leighton just have bombs on him? There's these who got dynamite. Leighton, where did you get that? How do one of your companions had turned 180? Oh no! There's a large gap here that prevents the groups from go er, the group from going onwards. Bring down the metal platform hanging above the gap to create a bridge. Using four dynamite sticks of different strengths, destroy the four support rods holding the platform. You'll have to work out which sticks of dynamite need to be placed on which rod. Each stick of correctly placed dynamite will leave a crack in every rod. It's kind of creepy. Oh no. Everything was wrong. Okay, let's try. I have to place all four first. Oops. Oh. What the? What? Dip, but, but. Okay, I should know by now that doesn't go there. What do you mean too bad? They all cracked. What? Oh god, I already forgot the or did I do it this He's stacking them up probably. Okay. Blue, red, green, yellow. Okay, that's wrong. Yellow, green, red, blue. What? I don't even remember what combination it was when I did the thing! Oh you have your tail go wild? Oh man. Blue, red, yellow, green. One hit. But. I had two hits before, which, okay. So it was blue, red. Let me try blue, red. Nope. Okay, Jesus, but I can't, come on! Oh, God. Okay. Fuck. Like, just, I can't, I, why can't they be numbered like one, two, three, four? It's like, Jesus, guys, you're expecting way too fucking much of me right now. I've already forgotten. Okay. Green, yellow, blue, red. Okay, so green, yellow, blue, red has two heads. So let's try green, yellow, red, blue. Nope. Green. How about twice? yellow, green, blue, red? Nope. about red, yellow, blue. Ah! Shiva, what do you think about this? I thought it, it sucked. No, unfortunately I have to place all of them in order to explode them, which it was kind of a pain in the butt because I keep forgetting where I placed them. Cracking job. Now the trio can continue onwards. Thanks. 
Whew. Now we can move on. Excellent work, Emmy. Let's press on. Okay, now I can touch the door. Thank you. That was my brain overheating. Hmm? This door won't budge. Mr. Layton, is something written here? It says one, three, five. Maybe a hint for opening the door. Let's search the factory again for anything suspicious. Okay, so I gotta go back to this room. That off? Go back two rooms. Turn that off. And now we need to go back over there and we should have the door open. So that was the trick. The levers we saw throughout the factory unlocked the door. It's definitely going to open now. Finally, now we can... Uh, what's the matter, Luke? Are you afraid? No, I mean, uh, no, of course not. I love how exciting this all is. Our thrilling investigation reaches its climax. Now, don't get ahead of yourselves, you two. Here we go. I don't know, it, this still feels pretty short, but... Uh, Luke, don't run on ahead, please. This could be dangerous. <gasps> what is that? That beast is the infamous Spectre. Bum, ba, da, bum. Oh, hello. Everything's ready. You sure you want to go? Why, of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I have been waiting patiently for the perfect moment to make my grand entrance. The final act belongs to me. No capes! Herschel Layton, I hope you are prepared to play your part. <laughs> Save your... Yes, please. <laughs> I had 69. I've done so many puzzles. A legend revealed. I guess this is the final chapter then. Dang. I mean, I had played this a few times before, obviously, to get to that point. Our first priority is to save Ariana and Lucia. Professor, where do we start? Jakes and his thugs are probably heading back to the police station. Okay, well, I guess we're going back to the police station. Yeah. Hello, Finch. I think the police station is pretty close by. Uh, that's not it. That's something else. It's a library. Oh! Incoming! Crow! They've got Ariana in the plaza. I don't know what they plan to do, but it doesn't look good. Let's hurry, Mr. Layton. Quickly now. We'll take care of all, all the stuff in the Tony's note. You get yourself to the plaza. Well, I guess we're just going to the plaza. Hello, sir. Sorry, no time for whatever you're gonna- Oh, you. Oh, well, I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ariana. Give me a minute. Apparently, I guess I didn't miss any puzzles or something, because it didn't- Oh, but it didn't say that I had any of the, like, missed ones. Oh, you have a puzzle, though. Hey, still run around like headless chickens then. I do want the Spectre case to be over eventually, but those antics of yours are pure gold. How about you leave the old puzzle solving for a bit and spend some time enjoying the sights? I'll have you know we're on a very important investigation. We don't have time to waste on sightseeing. All right, keep your hair on. It was only a suggestion. I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, look, take this puzzle as an apology. Will you forgive me now? It depends. If it's stupid, I'll hate you more. Cat catching? Oh, more cats. Can you be on in the Black Raven game too? You can. A naughty tomcat has been causing havoc all over town. Now he's in spot B, hiding from his owner, who's currently looking for him at spot A. His owner is determined to search every spot until she finds him. But after every one of her moves, the cat then moves to an adjacent spot to escape. However, if the owner plans her route well, she'll be able to catch the cat on her fourth move. What should her first three moves be? Input the three letters. 
Um. Okay. So the cat starts here. But okay, to an adjacent spot. So they'd have to go to either C or H. Cat's owner has four possible moves at the start. Two of these moves can result in her catching the cat. The key to this puzzle is that the owner moves before the cat. Try to think where the best place to catch the cat could be. Okay, so she moves here, moves there. Maybe E? I figured the cat would move in the opposite direction. That's why I'm like... So maybe... HGF? I mean, I figure there's gotta be multiple ways to do this. one never mind what the I fuck like how am i supposed to know where the fucking cat's gonna go like, what okay that's what pisses there's a spot that has the most connections the cat could be at a number of locations after three moves but the owner should still aim to be at one specific letter fuck you game god damn it i don't that totally could have worked like i can't figure out where the f with the most connections isn't that just a and what would her first three moves be? Just sitting in place? Oh, probably it's like you need to go back to the center. Is it just any, do, do I just need to go like, F, or... What? Oh, F, E, A, or E, E, F, A, I guess. I swear to God. They want me to go back to the oh, center, I guess. One, okay. Gee, fucking, fuck you, game. Was no problem. Correct. The key is to move to EFA or FEA. The cat's third move must place it at C, E, F, or H. If the girl is on spot A after her third move, she'll be able to catch it on her next one, regardless of where the cat is. How does she know where it's at, though? She... Fuck it. It's Professor Layton. Fuck this little girl. You know, if you give yourself too much stress, you'll get gray hairs. But if that's what you want, I'm not stopping you. Go right ahead. You're really not winning any points with me here. I wouldn't worry, Miss Emmy. If you do get gray hairs, you can always wear a hat like Mr. Layton's. And, Ms. and Layton's just like, I'm not wearing a hat because I have gray hair. But how are you doing today, Gar? There's been a few puzzles where I've just been like, fuck this puzzle. Emmy, Luke, I have an idea. Do is exactly as I say. Got it! Right you are, Professor. First of all, I need to get to the Grand Plaza. Doing my, you're dealing with some, ah, that sucks. Yes, it is a DS game. What's this? Let her go. Lucia didn't do anything. Ha, ah, if I had a penny for every time I'd heard that. You criminals are all the same. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Look around. I don't see any other beasts out here capable of smashing buildings, do you? But... And you kept it going, playing that cursed flute of yours. No, that's not true. Hmm, who could have guessed this child would destroy a town? It just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover. Or by its girth. Broski, that's not, you shouldn't, you shouldn't use that word there. Broski. Gross, Groski likes to talk about, Groski is a very, eh, 
big man, and he likes to talk about, I guess, bigness or something. He has a pompadour, and he's very happy about his muscles and his chest hair. What's the matter, boy? Is witch giving you a hard time? Restrain her! Stop! What are you doing? Stop right there, Jakes. This game is ready to eat for <laughs> No. Oh, ho, ho, and here comes Layton. Layton, I'll have you thrown in the clink again, man. Stay out of this. Lucia is not the specter. Mm, this is huge blob of blubber is the specter. Case closed. Your third eye fails you, Jakes. Lucia was only part of what you perceived to be the specter. Do you really want to make this your one unsolved case? I solve everything! What are you implying, Layton? Doubt with it! I think it's time we unveiled the true identity of the specter. Dun, 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 dun. Cutscene! Miss Tallery, I now give you the specter. <laughs> Good thing Luke knows how to pilot things. This is an excavating machine. It is used to dig up artifacts. Yeah. DS cutscenes. Yeah, well, it's because they're Sorry. Yeah, it's very pixely because, you know, obviously it's not meant to be on, like, a regular size screen, but they still did a good job. Very impressive. I know when I was playing uh, the second one on the DS, they looked really clean because, you know, they're on the correct tiny size screen. Hi, Clark. A digger, eh? I'll bet I could take that thing. W wow, Groski, sure, sure. Luke, you've done a fine job. Thank you, Mr. Layton. Someone built this machine to dig up the Golden Garden. The rumors of its existence here in Miss Tallery were too tempting. This machine was searching for the entrance to the Golden Garden as it dug up various parts of town. These repeated excavations slowly weakened the land, resulting in the sinkholes we observed. Lucia wasn't attacking the town. She was trying to stop this machine. Yeah. The specter that everyone saw was Lucia battling the machine. Behind the thick fog, the two appeared to be a single entity rampaging through the town. The fog was a man-made creation. This was key to understanding the true nature of the specter. Mm-hmm. The perpetrator produced thick fog to hide his tracks and was then able to dig anywhere in town. What's this about a man-made fog? Creating fog requires quite a bit of water. Our suspect used water from the canal... Which is why the, the water level went down so much whenever that showed up. Lucia sensed this disturbance and attacked the machine. The fog completely obscured their battle. <laughs> is, is this a joke? No, Jake, shut your face. A gentleman rarely resorts to punchlines. Luke here noted that the water levels in the canals dropped whenever the specter appeared. It was then that I realized that this specter could not be the specter of legend. Someone was clearly taking advantage of the folk tale. The fog was artificially created using the water in the canal so as to conceal the specter's identity. Spectre was a specialized mining machine operated by a certain villain for the purpose of locating the ancient golden garden hidden in Mythology. Hmm, quite an interesting revelation. However, the question stands, what evil mastermind could be behind such a thing? The <laughs> final question. It was someone drawn by the lure of the golden garden. 
A person willing to destroy the town to satisfy a lust for personal glory. No, it's been going good, guy. Don't worry about it. stands among us. <gasps> among us! The person is responsible for spreading lies about the Spectre all over town. And that person is you! Is you! <gasps> ba -da -da -da! What? There must be some sort of mistake, Mr. Layton. I'm just a butler. How on earth could I have done any of this? Because you're not just a butler. You kidnapped Mrs. Triton and threatened to harm her if Clark didn't keep quiet about your plot. Damn, Clark this is getting thumb, deep. You were free to do as you pleased in town. And you, Chief Jakes, you were Dolan's accomplice all along. You two hatched this plot, hoping to unearth the Golden Garden. Layton! Quite amusing, Mr. Layton. However, I'm sorry to say I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm delighted you find humor in this. I, however, do not. Do I? Yes. Allow me to explain. I'm allowed to explain and get this gun. Well, by all means. Luke noticed the low water levels I mentioned earlier. He recorded all the data in his notebook. But, as it happens, some of his entries turned out to be incorrect. These were mistakes made by his source of information. A certain informant, we'll call him. Toppy, how did you, how'd you mess up? However, even when Luke's predictions were wrong, residents were still evacuated from the neighborhoods where the specter appeared. That is strange, considering Luke gave you the wrong information, don't you think? Take that as a yes. You see, Doland, even without Luke's predictions, you knew when and where the Spectre would strike. You warned the residents not for their safety, but so they would not see what the Spectre really was. Dun, 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 dun. That is why you passed along Luke's warnings in the first place. Take that, corn dog nose. You certainly do not disappoint. Congratulations. That was truly Leighton esque. Thanks. Professor, just like you said, I found them in Mr. Triton's cellar. The real Dolan and Mrs. Triton were being held captive down there. I freed them from the cellar and took them to safety. Yay! Oh, I just realized they were on the top screen. It's clear enough that you are not Dolan Noble, the Triton family's faithful butler. So tell us who you really are. You are correct, Professor Layton. It's time to end this charade. <laughs> charade. <gasps> Are you? Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. You say we wouldn't get caught. What an ugly little man you are. You killed Mr. Bard, didn't you, Jake? <gasps> <laughs> no, no, I'll just change the will. Uh, well, that's still very bad, you jerk. Bart Stiff was an accident. I'll just make everything go to clock. Yeah, which, uh, that's not, yeah, that's terrible. Well, I forged the will, sure, but only because he told me to. Oh, is that why? Apparently, I made a pact with a small-minded dullard. How truly unfortunate. Damn, Jakes, he just called you a dullard. Why did you just call me? Nah, man, you're pretty dumb. A dullard, a fool, a nitwit. <laughs> Later, your intellect is formidable. I have truly enjoyed this. You have us at a disadvantage. Indeed. My name is Descolet. I am an artistic man of science with rather lofty goals. Descolet? It really is a pity. I had high hopes that the Golden Garden was here. It was all such a waste of time. And this meaningless town. I'll have my fun by destroying it. That's mean. Don't do that. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, oh, there's multiple! No! The crab machines are back! Wow. Well, how are we supposed to puzzle out of this, Leighton? Ah! Oh! 
<laughs> That's rude. Uh uh. Oh, okay, that works. Wow, screw you, Jakes. Oh, Lucia! Well, now, I believe the time has come. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, of course. Of course! Of course, it's a giant Mac now! Ah, uh, no, Lucia! Oh, don't be mean to Lucia. Okay, uh, guys, we gotta figure something out. Professor, we have to stop him. What should we do, Mr. Layton? I must stop that machine. You two get everyone to safety. Absolutely not. As your assistant, I can't let you face danger alone. Same here, I'm not leaving. Besides, I can help you stop that machine. We don't have time to debate this. If I can take out its legs, that should stop it in its tracks. I'm good with machines. Leave it to me. Emmy! I'll have Lucia distract it while Emmy goes for its legs. Luke, no! I can't let this happen to my town, Mr. Layton. And Lucia feels the same way. All right, you must. Pro, we're going to need your help. Well, we got the note from Tony. I have to say, it was pretty clever of you to work all this out. Thank me later. Right now, I need your help. What? Oh, God. Final battle? It's a puzzle boss! Holy shit! Oh, everybody split up the work. All I need to do is disable its legs. That should stop it in its tracks. Ugh. Oh, those spindly legs. It almost looks like a spider. I've never liked spiders. Wire cutter? Oh, geez. The wires in this switchboard are only are, are protected by hardened glass. The only access point is a small maintenance window through which you can reach and cut three wires. If you cut the connection between terminal A and terminal F, the attached leg will be disabled. Cut the wrong wire, however, may cause the machine to go berserk. Which of the wires should you cut? Oh, come on. Okay, so we have to do A and F. Oh wait, do they just lead to like the same intersection? Oh! Submit! I think I've got this one. What?! But that was totally it! I need to look at that again. Okay, so I did trace the fucking cause of rhythm! Fuck you! I traced the fucking wire! Okay, F. Uh... Yeah, it's that. Okay, what, what does that go to? If it doesn't go to A. God, they split. Oh. Oh, there's more than fucking one! I'll handle this one, Professor. Okay, it's the top and bottom. Jesus. Of course. I never said it couldn't be multiple wires. Yeah, the wire itself splits off and comes back together. Quite tough. Yeah, thanks. Woohoo, one leg down, three to go. Now for the next one. Okay, what is another wire cutter? Spectre's movements have slowed slightly. Now to take out this leg. W what is this? So many buttons. Emergency stop. In order to disable this leg, you need to press those buttons to shut down power. The lamps on top show which circuits are still receiving power. When you press a button, it will switch the state of the lamp it's connected to, as well as any adjacent lamps, so the lamps that are on will go off and vice versa. Quick, work out, work out which button controls each lamp and turn them all off. Ah, 
<laughs> what do you think about I this? did it! Man, I'm really good at lights out, guys. I used to do that a lot as that a child. Was no problem. Who knew that those skills would come in handy? I, oh, I did. You, you know what? As you can see from the diagram, each button corresponded to a lamp above it, but the order was off by one. Okay. Is it over? No, there's no time to relax. On to the next leg. I hope Luke's doing all right. Time to swap perspective. Squeak! Lucia, are you okay? <laughs> it's closing in for an attack. Dodge in the direction I tell you. Okay. Oh, it's a puzzle. The next attack. There's 65 picarets. There's so many. The last 15 of the digging machine's attacks have been analyzed. The image below shows the spots where the attacks fell, and they have been marked with the number of the attack. There seems to be a definite pattern here. Can you tell where the next attack will land? Touch the space you think is next. Um. What is, wouldn't it just be one? That's a weird pattern. Seven, what? Follow the number pattern starting from one. How are the attacks positioned in relation to each other? Once you get the gist of the pattern, predicting where the next attack will fall becomes very easy. Well, two. Is it always a diagonal and a straight? Nope, that goes six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What the fuck is this supposed to <laughs> What am I supposed to be figuring out for this shit? Focus on attack one to five for a moment. That should make the pattern easier to notice. What are you fucking? Top left and proceed to the right. As they reach the end of a row, they start again at the left side and the row below it. Note how many spaces there are between each attack. Each time the number of the attack goes up, the spaces, oh. So, no, 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 no. So that has one space. But, it, uh, five? The, but, or the space between the first, like, one, two, three, five? I, I really, I don't fucking, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. One, oh, two is two spaces along from one. Three is three spaces along from two. Four is four spaces along from three. No, it's not. It's literally right fucking like, or like what? What? What are they fucking talking about? Three and four right next to each other. What? No. I can no. There's. It's not. It's, it's like yes, that's like right there, and then three. What the fuck are they talking about? That's. Hey, what? You're saying there's a definite pattern. I'm not fucking seeing it. Like, fuck you, game. It, it looks like they're just fucking going wherever. Like, don't fucking... How is the solution is 16? It's the same. What? I think this is right. What? How does that make any that fucking sense? 
The next attack will be aimed at the spot represented by the square in the far right column. Pattern shows that attack two was two along from one, attack three was three along from two. Like, how do you mean three? Like, how is it three? What is it fucking talking about? Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. I really, I, I, I honestly do not fucking understand the logic. Like, that doesn't seem like that's fucking right at all, but whatever. Like, it was 15, 15 spots away from, I don't know. Oh, that's not the last of them. I wonder if Emmy's okay, so we're switching back. I don't, I don't know, guys. That didn't make any goddamn sense to me. You think it's, like, Minesweeper? Yeah, I, because it's just the way they, like, the way that they were explaining it made absolutely no sense, because they're like, four is four spaces away from three, and I'm like, they're... They're literally touching each other, unless they just mean like four spaces around it. I don't. Spectre's movements are getting sluggish. We're almost there. I need to disable the Spectre's movements while Luke and Lucia have it distracted. And then the 16th attack was just exactly where the 15th was. And I'm like, I guess? Yes, yeah, so but counting how, that's, yeah, that's the thing that I, I feel like it was just not explained very well. According to the warnings on this device, two red terminals on the top panel need to be connected to stop the device. However, unless all four connectors on each block are connected to a connector or terminal of the same color, the emergency stop function will not work. Solve this as quickly as you can. Organizing a whole bunch of videos right now, but you're doing great. Oh, thank you. I'm doing what I, I'm doing my best. Okay, so. So we need to make sure everything is touching something. Right. I can go there, I guess. Um. So I need a green. That, I guess? Is that what they want? Okay, oh, that actually. Two red terminals on the top. Oh, wait, so the terminals themselves need to be connected. Unless all four connectors on each block are connected to a connector or terminal of the same color, the emergency stop function will not work. So I have to... I have to get... So I really need to actually... Uh, kind of like that, but not... That's not right either. It's gotta be blue and yellow, like this one. But not that blue and yellow. Holy shit! Let's restart that. Okay, so. Oh god, this. So that's gotta be uh, blue and green. Yeah. That's red. Yeah, I gotta, it's gotta go the other way. That's gotta be blue. But blue going to the right. Okay, fuck, but that won't work because fuck. this one. Okay, so those are connected. Let's see about getting everything else blue to. Wait, huh? Uh huh. Okay, this needs to be green on top. Blue right there. Oh, well, 
Actually, oh no, that's not right. It's gotta be blue and green. There. And that, oh, that won't work. Oh God, this is. Jesus Christ, like seriously. First, see if you can work out which block goes in the top left corner. Don't get too caught up in just connecting the colors. Remember that you have to connect the two red term. I know, I know. I did that, but now it's, uh, there's just a lot of other shit going on. Does those connect? That connects. That doesn't quite. Okay. The block that goes in the top right corner is B. Okay, I got that. On the bottom row, the second block from the left should be F. Okay. Block that goes in the top left corner is C. By paying attention to the color of the connectors and the direction of the wiring, you can work out that H is to the right of C and E is to the right of that. Oh, okay, so it's... C, H, E. Okay, so I already got all those. The rest should be simple now, I guess. C, H, I mean, everything else... Is apparently in the right place. But. Unless I swap F and A? No, actually, that's bad. Yeah. D definitely goes over here. Oh, no, it doesn't say D has to go there. Block goes up right. Okay. Maybe this one doesn't have to be. No, no, that's. Oh. Did, um... Did stream drop, guys? OBS was just like, uh, reconnect successful, and I'm like, I haven't dropped any frames or anything, so I don't know what you're talking about. But it has been kind of quiet. Yes? Okay, wait, did I did I drop for a bit? Stream went down? Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm still confused. Okay, C H. So it's gotta be, yeah, C H E B. And then I gotta figure out what the hell is on the F goes here. Oh, oh, wait, no, but I mean, that works, but also that's wrong. God damn it! Unless. Oh, 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 okay, I think I did it. Oh, Jesus. I think I've got this. Well, welcome back. We took out another leg. No, we didn't, never. I hate what the? Wrong. <sighs> God, I hate this. There's just so fucking much going on. Jesus Christ! Let me fucking get past this! Green. Ah. Ah. Red. Green. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Blue. Like, it's all... What fucking... What's missing? Blue. Green. They're connected. All these are connected. Is this not how it's supposed to be? Because everything's connected. Uh, yeah. What's fucking wrong? 
satu Yeah, connector or terminal are the same. They're all the same color. Every, red, blue, green, green, blue, blue, green, red, green, blue, green. What the fuck? It, this is... The, the red is connected to the red. What the fuck is this? This is... What about this is not correct? Okay, well, I'm looking it up because this is fucking. There is literally no way that this is wrong because everything is lined up the way it's supposed to fucking be. Holy shit! Like, is it bugged? Okay, yeah, I, okay. Blue, green, yeah, that's how I have it. Red, blah, blah, blah. C H E B G F A D. That's. This is the solution! This is literally the solution! Is it bugged? God, they're supposed to be on. They're supposed. You know what? I'm. Oh, whatever. I can. Yeah, that's it. That's. Fuck you! You I'll fucking game! You didn't tell me to actually put it on. God, I thought it was just a reference. You can't let a puzzle intimidate I didn't you. think it was on, like its own fucking thing. Oh, I can't believe that. Don't, no, apparently my stream went down for a bit, and now it's back. That's so. Fuck this game! I, usually they'll have like a reference and then like, okay, move the thing. Like, it, it, it's done it so many fucking times. So I thought that that was... But yeah, it, it probably posted again because apparently I I heard it say OBS went down. Um, I guess a few minutes ago and then it reconnected. Yeah, it probably triggered stuff again since it considers it like a new live. Okay, that should hamper its movement. Soon it won't have a leg to stand on. The other thing that pissed me off was the other puzzle with fucking um, Luke because it didn't make any sense to me at all. If I can just stop this last leg, the specter should be completely immobilized. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm just like, what the fuck? But no, you had to have it up top. I guess that would make it easier, but Jesus Christ. Who are you? People, don't just add me on Snapchat. Who are you? By search. Oh boy, I wonder if I'm gonna get like some kind of fucking message where they're like, hey, check out my OnlyFans. And I'm like, come on, I don't even know you. That's usually what happens, honestly. I'll get people added and then they'll try to send me stuff and I'm like, I don't, who are you? Get out of here. Oh, her face is, well, there's a little, there's a little bit of, like, pixelation with everybody. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, come on. But, uh, yeah, I haven't, everything else runs perfectly fine. For some reason, this specific game, every other game never had that, but this one did. So, I don't know. This switchboard has an emergency shutdown feature. Apparently, all you have to do is press the button marked with the symbol that should appear in place of the question mark. The symbols are arranged according to a certain rule. So which button is it? Wait. Um, that one's got that in there. And that. What is the rule? Eh, eh. What? <laughs> I hate the Come on, brain. Look at the diagram carefully. It seems that several of the symbols share some shapes. I know, but what the... F okay, so that's got a square around it. That has those, but now it, it doesn't. 
that's that, but without that. Oh, what am I supposed to? Okay, so. Oh, okay, so that's got the T in there the whole time. That's got the M or circle. Okay, so this one's going to have a triangle. Maybe the triangle and the circle? Or just... Why would I put the triangle with the T together? So that the T is in all of these. This has circle and other things. Okay, so there's that. Triangle with box. Just the triangle. Pixel tearing sexes. Yeah, no, it really does. Usually it's not so bad, but for some reason this specific, like, port of it, I guess, just was not, I don't know. There's just something up. Like, everything, like I said, everything else works perfectly fine. I don't think there, would there be a circle around it? Wait, because there, there's a circle and then that and then not circle. Every symbol and diagonal is the sum of the other two diagonal? Wait, wait, what? Every, what does that mean? So like, you mean like the, like, um, or like, eh, the line, oh it's, yeah, I, I figure it's gonna be a triangle shape, I just don't know if it's gonna be a triangle and a circle, cause I don't, but there's only, let's see, there's 10, like the M? The M is here, the M is there, it has a, yeah, the circle, and then the M circle, and then just the M, and then over here is the M with the T? And then just the T, and then the T in a box? Or upside down T, I should say. So do you think it'll involve a triangle? Did they put the T and the triangle together? Oh, God. Symbols are arranged in a pentagon. Have a look at the symbols in the corners of the pentagon. Compared to the others, they're much simpler, aren't they? Wait, so the, oh, so they're just the straight up shapes in the corners? Okay, yeah. But. M circle, T square, MT. So that's gotta be, so that's gotta be like a mix of two then, but. You know, yeah, I know, I am, I'm so confused as well. Yeah, it's a triangle shape. Wait, you did, wait, did I, me or her? Probably her, I'm feeling kinda, the pattern is triangular. Yeah, I'm just not sure if it's gonna be like a, a circle. It's a mix of three to the left and, oh, really? Oh, you mean the, oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, geez, so. Oh, so. So it is. God, see, that's what I hate. I'm like, I my brain is working in overdrive because I'm like, I can't fucking. And easy, and easy with that. Yeah, true. Okay, so it is. This? Okay, that. Okay, well, Jesus. I did it, Professor. You, you. Thank you. You did it. Sorry, I'm. I think. 
Okay, that was my own notification. I was like, did somebody let me know when I went down? Organizing a whole bunch of videos. Oh, wait. Oh, that's what. Okay. My. Hello. I just realized that on the left side, the last thing you said is organizing a bunch of videos and then it just like kind of. Yeah, and then that's when stream went down. Hello. Um, can you can you do things again, chatbot? Refresh. Oh, OK, I have to connect everything again. I actually had to reconnect my bots um, earlier in the stream because every like 30 days you have to renew your token for security measures and all that. But yeah, thank you. We did it. OK, finally, the legs. The five symbols on the pentagram's edges are made out of the two corner symbols that lie neither adjacent nor directly opposite of them. Oh, uh, oh, what the fuck? I don't... Am I trying to, like, summon a demon here? I don't know. In this case, the circle and triangle symbols combine to reveal the identity of the mystery button. Okay, yeah, you're... Okay, so you... Jesus, the way they explain this is... It's easier the way you said it. <laughs> Neither directly there or uh, across. Yeah, it's a bunch of triangles with the arrows. There, the specter can't move anymore. It's all up to the professor now. I hope he has a sword. Bro, are you ready? Uh, the Black Ravens are present and reporting for duty. Your orders? I need to build something fast. Can you help me? Do you even need to ask? This is our town. Every last one of us will fight to protect it. Oh, it's time to fucking MacGyver something. Excellent. Now, I sketched this out quickly, so it's rather rough. Solve the puzzle! It's a trebuchet! Uh, okay, understood. Interesting. I need you to gather the necessary parts for this. Can you do that? You build it. No! I don't want to build that dog out of matchsticks. First, we need this. Do you have any idea what might work for that? Um, a boat. What about using a boat? Good thinking. Can you bring me one? Bucky owes me a favor. Badger, come with me. Better noop. Hey, hey, Ren and Socket at your service. Ren, can you find me something that would work for this? A bridge, a telephone. Oh, probably not a bridge. A bridge is too big. A ladder. How about a ladder? Perfect. Can you get a hold of one? I think there's one at the police station. Socket, let's go. Time to steal from the police. I'm here, I'm here. What can I do? Gus, what do you think we could use for this part? This is going to be the base, so it needs to be heavy. Um, beams from a wrecked house, bricks or Gus? Probably beams from a wrecked house. How about beams from a house? Miners later. It's okay. We'll pay them in candy later. Good. Those should be heavy enough. I'll get two beams from that house there. Give me a hand, Scraps. Bye, Scraps. I guess you don't get a line this time. I'll do it to help the town, but it's still a pain. So what do you need from me? Roddy, what do you think we could use for this part? We need a flat horizontal piece. A broomstick, a grandfather clock, a shop sign. A shop sign! You want to be paid in candy? Well, I mean, you could be. A shop sign would be perfect. Can you find one? I don't know. A sign fell off the bakery. I can bring you that. That would be ideal. Lewis, come and help me. I'm fed up with this already. Which leaves me to find the remaining pieces. Puzzle solved! Child labor complete! We brought it, sir. I think that's, uh, everything. Well, I'm not doing that again. Didn't even have time to complain. I see you've brought everything I've asked for. Very grateful to you, Crow, and to all of your gang. Well, we're the ones who should be thanking you, Professor. We're finally gonna stop the Spectre. Yes, we will defeat it. Here and now. While Emmy and Luke are busy impeding its movement, we can prepare our own attack. You like the child labor puzzle? Yay! It's, it's a lot more fun when you play it on Professor Layton. You begin assembling the catapults with the parts shown below, but it isn't clear how they fit together. Part A will be placed exactly as shown below with no rotation. But how do the other parts fit in? 
Any of those can be rotated. When you have the answer, draw a line from the circle beside part B, C, and D to the corresponding X in the diagram. Um. Okay, so we want all of these to... Okay, so A has to fit in there. I feel like... Okay, that's the middle. That's gotta go there. This has to go on the bottom. And this... Wait. It's in there. That would fit on top. I believe that's correct, because D would have to hold it all together. And that's got the holes on the bottom, that's got the holes over there, and A has the holes there. Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, wait! Any of the other parts can- all the other parts can be rotated. Okay, so that can be spun. Well, no, what the fuck? Oh wait, if that goes on the other side, duh, because that would be B and then C would go in between. Okay, I'm correct, I'm, I'm right. Sorry guys, I was like uh, doubting myself. Submit. A challenging puzzle to be sure. Da da da, I know how to put wood inside of other no woods. Without an answer. Correct, you fit the parts together as shown above. Now you can launch your attack, yay. Layton's catapult is now in your puzzle index. Who are we launching? Or what are we launching? <gasps> ba -da -da -ba. We're ready. Are we just throwing a bunch of rocks? Okay, let's move on, Lucia. Hmm. They have yet to give up. Such admirable tenacity. Uh, sir, I broke your legs. Take that, fucker! Direct hit! That was amazing, Mr. Layton! Is that it? No. Doubtful, doubtful yeah. Very doubtful. Oh, <laughs> Layton! Who was control- Well, I guess it's gotta have a remote in, like, the main one. Professor Layton commits manslaughter ASMR. Oh no, it's doing the cutscene again. Well, Tessa, any other ideas? Um, it's about to throw some, like, columns at us? Uh, oh ah, no, my catapult, I just made that! <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it still shouldn't be able to move. Okay, never mind, it's, we fixed it. Good job, us, we fixed the terrible murder machine. I don't know. Lucia, what are you doing? We're we gonna have to, oh. The dam! The dam! The dam! The dam. What's he doing? They're trying to break the dam! Oh, I get it! Come on, guys! We've gotta help! What should we do? Break down the floodgate! Anybody got some dynamite? But why? To protect the town! Yeah, they're in marshmallows, not columns. Oh. Huh? Oh, now I kinda want marshmallows. Just trust me! Vip. Yep. Da -da -da. <laughs> oh, the music! You know it's good when the music starts, guys! The intro music! Fucking Layton theme. It's okay, we will rebuild! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Into the building! <laughs> wow, we got upstairs super fast. Damn it, I didn't waterproof it! Yes. Lucia! We're lucky to have a friend like Lucia. Man, I hope that. 
Fortune favored you today. <laughs> Savor this victory later. Only certain defeat lies in your future. Well, a lot of sad it's things actually lie in his future, but we won't talk about delicious. that. <laughs> Impossible! The professor will never lose to the likes of you! Such spirit in this one. Leighton, soon you will see that you cannot defeat me. But I believe that is for another time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Descoli. I feel as though I've seen him somewhere before, but I can't quite remember where. Descoli. Okay. Is that? Did I do it? Is is? The, did we win? Da da da. Da. Oh. Is it, oh, we got to figure out if that actually exists. Yeah, fuck you, Jakes. I maintained his perfect track record by fabricating his own conclusions to solve each case. That's illegal. Save your progress. Oh, what are we, an epilogue chapter? Yeah, we did the final battle. What's pa the greatest gift? Yes, epilogue. Oh, no. What does that mean? Is Lucia going to die? Please don't kill anyone else. New episodes. How the bells toll, policing the streets, how many friends, typing numbers, watermelon wonder. Hello, Lucia, how are you? We really did it! That was quite a trial, Professor. You wanna be able to... Yeah, I'm fine with that. What the hell?! Yes, I... Wait, is there something wrong with Lucia? I heard, like, a scream. Lucia, where are you going? Uh, we should probably follow. What's going on up here? Oh, I bet Lucia's been stuck because of this, like, freaking... Because of the dam. Ariana, the flute. Oh. Yeah, d uh, d uh, play the flute. Calm down. <laughs> it's not working. It's not working. Uh, that's what I just said. I know. Please, please stop doing that, Lucia. Are you gonna throw a rock? No! I don't want to be your friend anymore. No! <laughs> don't throw a rock! At oh, why? Uh. Huh. What's over there, Lucia? What's behind that gate? Get back. The gate is giving way. Get to higher ground, everyone. Well, I mean, they don't really know why. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, it, it's probably going to be okay. Well, we already evacuated everybody. For the most part. What? Dang, that water cleared out quick. What the? What's, oh, it's the, it's the Golden Garden. Oh, were you trying to show us that? I thought that there was like babies back there or something. Entrance of some sort. Professor, how on earth can we get it open? Oh, puzzle. Lake Bottom Crest. The only clue to the beating behind this elegant crest is the accompanying poem. Oh, this is always how they end. Traveler to paradise, awaken the birds with the four fruits and make them dance. Birds of illusion, raise your beaks and kiss the sun so the traveler may stray into illuminate paradise. Oh.
Oh, they probably all have to see me the same fruit. Oh, okay. Up, oh, up. Oh. Praise the sun. Where is the sun? Oh, wait. Whoa! Okay, I did it, I guess. Time to apply some creative thinking. Yay! And then he's like, you did it wrong. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Yeah, well, I... Correct. The crest... The, the crest... The crest swings back to reveal a mysterious passage. Okay. More cutscene? Fascinating. Why is this here? That's not the question. The question is, where does it lead? Well, down we go. Lucia, are you coming with? Yep, you are. <laughs> oh. You should apologize, Ariana. I'm sorry I threw a rock at your head. What? <sighs> what? Wait, so the Golden Garden isn't actually gold. It's just... Is this where you live, Lucia? Damn, look at all them gems, though. Well, look at this place! Light comes in through the holes in the earth and ceiling and refracts through these crystals. Hmm. That sunlight has sustained the vegetation here, turning it into a verdant paradise. So this is the Golden Garden? It's an entirely untouched world! And I was thinking it would be carpeted with gold and jewels, just like everybody else, because they're greedy. Such a paradise has more value than any amount of gold. It certainly means more to Ariana. W what do you mean? The air here is pure. As Emmy said, it is untouched. Its properties may be able to cure your illness. Really, Mr. Layton? I think Lucia knew this. She led Ariana here in order to cure her. Oh, you better say sorry. Had Deskull found this place first, that would not have been possible. And so Lucia opposed Deskull at every turn, trying to stop him from finding this paradise. And she did it all to help cure Ariana of her illness. Yeah, you better apologize. We found it! To an archaeologist such as myself, our find is worth more than any amount of gold. Like, even literal gold. Beneath Miss Thollery Lake lies a lost world whose prehistoric ecosystem has been preserved to this day. This is the true identity of Miss Thollery's Golden Garden. Oh, wow. Cutscene. Aww. Oh no! Come on! I didn't understand. You wanted to give me this gift. This beautiful gift. I'm sorry. Please let's just go back to how things were. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Get up so I can ride you again! No, she need- yeah, Lucia's tired! Wait, please start snoring. God, these kids are so loud. Oh, well. Are, are you actually dead? <laughs> no, no, no. Well. Unless she's gonna jump out of the water. Why do they keep killing animals in this game? Through puzzles or not. Wow. Did you hear what she said? No, I can't understand animals like you, Lou. Lucia said, thank you to you both. Doesn't that make you feel terrible for throwing that rock earlier? Oh, well, I mean, Lucia's like the last 
of whatever Lucia is. Yeah, well, is it, I, I forget, Cat. were you here for the end of, um, were you here for the end of the, uh, oh god, the last one that I played? Time stands still down here in this ancient paradise. Lucia mm -hmm. must have been born here. The unwound future? Like, holy shit. That was a lot to, to take in in, like, the last bit, and you're just like, wow, this really sucks for Layton. I imagine she lost her parents while still young. Just like it you must guys. Have been lonely being the last of her kind. So she ventured out through the tunnels into the lake where she met Ariana and Tony. She needed friends after her parents died. So mm. It's true. Lucia came to visit us often. We were lonely as well. We only had each other. Our father made a fortune on the backs of the townspeople. And after he died, nobody would come anywhere near us. Like, lady, yeah. Oh, God. The two of us were on our own. We were all on our own. But that's not true, Ariana. We were all worried about you. Please give us another chance. Luke, if you do that for me... I will do the same for you. Ah, the children! I used my illness as an excuse to close myself off from the world. I see that now. The people in town didn't push me away. It was my own doing. When you feel better, you can open up to people again. Luke, you're so short! For you. Sorry. I think Lucia knew that somehow. Lucia just... She just wanted you to be happy again. She knew that we all need other people in our it's lives. So Lucia was the last of her kind. Loneliness was all she knew. But she wasn't alone when she was with you. That's why she said thank you. Now it's my turn. Huh? Thank you, Lucia. Sorry I threw that rock at your head. Ariana played her flute. I felt a warm breeze against my cheek. Even the trees seemed to honor the moment, and we found ourselves simply awestruck by the beauty of it all. It was a moment we would never forget. <laughs> Layton, you and your like deadpan time we had face. Known her, Ariana had grown so much, and she could once again open her heart to those who cared for her. It was beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Emmy. Looks like it's all over, Professor. So who do we alert first? I mean, we discovered the Golden Garden. No, Emmy. Yeah. We must keep this place a secret. What? At least until Ariana recovers. That's a bit of a shame. Clearly, something like this. This could launch your career. You'll be in all the newspapers. That's Wouldn't bad. That be great, Professor. That's bad. <laughs> I suppose so. But don't worry, Emmy. I doubt this will be the last mystery we solve. There are countless puzzles out there in the world, and I will solve as many of them as I can. Like my missing Someday girlfriend. I solve that great puzzle meant only for me. <laughs> oh, now he's referencing it. <laughs> hmm? Please, uh. let me go with you. I can learn from you. Please, huh? I could be Professor Layton's apprentice. <laughs> well, I.
て。Thank you, level five. We we won, but did we really win? Ah, wait, cutscene. Luke, are you ready to go? Almost. Just let me say goodbye to my friends. Oh, okay. He's so short. Are you nervous? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, true. I knew you would. You were right. Everyone in town has been so nice to me. It feels so good to be surrounded by friends again. That's great. Will I see you again? Well, I think so. <laughs> wow. I mean, of course you. Yeah, come on, bro. The, maybe. Deal? Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Eh. <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah, we're here for you. But I'm gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That when he said goodbye to friends, he was talking about, you know, like, Leighton and all that. But I guess they're going probably to London. Is that the end end? later, Is Ariana oh. fully recovered from her illness. The discovery of the Golden Garden was made public thanks to the work of an eminent archaeologist. Ooh, which one? <laughs> it became known to all, as did the name of the man who solved its puzzle, Professor Herschel Layton. Oh no, we just finished, R.C. Oh! Oh no! Till next time. It appears that I underestimated Layton. All things happen in good time. Don't worry, Master. Oh, I'm not worried. After all, patience is a virtue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't just go like full on evil man laugh. Is that to be continued? Welcome. We puzzled and we won. Did you enjoy Professor Layton and the Spectre's Call? You have reached the end of the story, but the game is far from over. Yeah, there are exactly 155 puzzles scattered throughout the story that you've just completed. See if you can complete each and every one of them. You might unlock some new content in the bonuses section. Thanks. There's all sorts of fun awaiting you there. If by fun you mean ba brain pain, thanks, yes. See if you have what it takes to conquer some of the most baffling puzzles in the game. Have fun with the rest of Professor Layton and the Spectre's Call. Thanks. New episodes have been added to the trunk. Since you've come to the end of the story, you may now save your game. When you continue this game, you will resume play right after the final battle. From there, you can wander around freely, collecting items and solving puzzles you might have missed. Thanks. Game. Give me my Golden Layton. Golden Layton. 16 hours. That's still not too bad. But yeah, it was very good. Ah, oh, man, I'm still sad about it.